three ways to crush the fear of live video and embrace it with confidence. Hi everyone, it's Rashonda Pratt, known in the digital streets as the Rose Show Live, author, visibility coach, helping you to crush fear, gain your confidence. You're watching Visibility is Power TV. Listen, today I'm gonna to share with you my three tips on how you can move past the fear and finally hit that go live button. But the button I want you to hit right now is the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the subscribe button right here on Visibility is Power TV, right here on YouTube. Let's get into this. So according to data, 80% of people rather watch live video. That means you have a higher chance of impact, making influence and income by hitting that go live button. But I know what gets in the way of actually doing it are people feel stuck and uncomfortable and really are fearful when it comes to showing up in this online space. And I get it because guess what? I was there one time too. I know it's hard to believe. I know you're thinking, well, you're the former television news producer. You have all of these years experience of working in the TV news industry. Yes, but there's a difference between having an experience or excuse me, having an experience and having the experience. Let me say that again. There's a difference between having an experience and having the experience. Yes, I had experience of working behind the scenes as a television news producer. And many of the things that I learned 20 years, I now teach and train my clients on. But there was really a difference in having the experience of being the person on camera. And so today I want to share with you my three, excuse me, my three quick tips on how to gain confidence. I promise you this is going to support you. Number one. First and foremost, the way to crush fear and embrace confidence starts with changing your mindset. And your mindset needs to lean into this. It is progress over perfection every single time. Can we say that together, shall we? It's progress over perfection every single time. You have to embrace the fact that every time you hit the go live button, you are deciding to become 10% better every single time. And it's not about it being perfect because your audience is already dealing with their own perfection issues. Trust me, they are. What they want is to see you grow and they want to see the journey, the progress, and that gives them permission also to do the same. And they're going to want to progress on their own journey. So embrace progress over perfection every single time. 10% better every single time you hit the go live button. Number two, practice. My middle schooler taught me this saying that practice doesn't make perfect, it makes permanent. Did you hear that? Practice makes permanent. So practice being in front of the camera. So there are ways that you can do a live video and only you see it or practice in a closed community or practice in your mirror. Ladies, when you putting on your makeup, men, while you're shaving, you're already talking to yourself anyway. And I hope you're having positive self-talk. But practice in front of the mirror. What does that look like? Practice your elevator peach, pitch, peach, pitch. <laughs> practice it. That means stand in front of the mirror and listen to yourself. Watch your facial expressions, pay attention to your face. What I find a lot of times what trips people up about the live video process is the fact that they're hearing themselves for the first time. That's what my voice sounds like. Or they're seeing themselves on camera the first time. That's what my nose looks like. When you don't have anybody else to, to talk to. I mean, think about it. When we're having a conversation, you're looking at the other person. But now you're having a conversation essentially looking at yourself. So practice, practice in the mirror, practice listening to your voice, the inflection, practice watching your face and your facial expressions. And once you do that, I want you to do this. I want you to honor your voice, honor your face because it's your best asset, right? I didn't like how I looked on camera. I didn't like my voice. But once I started to embrace that and honor my voice and honor my face, guess what? My face was in the place. Yeah. 
speaking engagements and other opportunities opened up. And I think it's because I spent time practicing and I spent time honoring myself. We spend so much time honoring other people, right? We rarely take the time to honor ourselves. And number three, the last and final thing when it comes to crushing the fear of live video and embracing it with confidence, number three, discuss what you're passionate about. Do you know when you talk about what you're passionate about, it boosts up your confidence? It catapults your uh, confidence and your creativity and your energy. Why would you get on live video and talk about something that you're not passionate about or knowledgeable about, right? If you're knowledgeable about it, talk about it. And I promise you, that's what people want to hear anyway. People want to hear your expertise, your thought leadership. So talk about what you're passionate about. I want to hear from you. Which one of these are you going to implement right now, right? Action cures all. And the best way is to get started when it comes to your visibility. Is it number one, embracing progress over perfection? Maybe number two, deciding that you're going to practice. Or number three, deciding that you are going to discuss what you're passionate about, which one it is. Or maybe it's all three. I want to hear from you. Make sure to respond in the comment section. And another way I want to hear from you is, listen, join our text community or our Facebook community for coaches, experts, and thought leaders just like yourself, where we're helping you understand that this is the year you deserve to make impact, influence, and income, that your visibility is power, and you deserve to be seen, heard, and paid. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.